So if you look at the screen, you can see that I'm running several applications in my system. And not only that I'm running several applications using Eureka, I'm also running the same application into multiple, in, uh, into multiple instances, as you can see right here. We have this localhost API gateway, one instance. We have this product web, one instance. But we have this product server here. It's running three different instances. You can see one running at port 803, 802, and 8080. Now you might need to do something like this. In fact, you must do something like this if you are working with microservices. And this is really the direction application development is going now. So if you are testing microservices or you are playing around with microservices, you should be able to run multiple instances of the same application. So let me just show you how to do it. Let me just go to the product uh, web. This one that has just one instance, and I'm, I'm going to add one more port so that it also runs. Or maybe two, I can add as many as I want. Okay, so now this is this application running right here. You can see uh, the port is specified in the in this place. Okay, all right. So, um, so the first thing I'm going to do now is to go to the configuration right here and click on Edit Configuration. So once you click on Edit Configuration, it gives you what you have here. So what you are going to do is simply click on this plus sign. Again, remember to subscribe to my channel. Just a reminder, if you've not subscribed, just subscribe to me so that you don't miss an update. So just click on Spring Boots, and then it gives you on names. You can change the name if you want. Now the main class, you just click on this ellipsis here, and it's going to automatically search out the main class of this application, and you, you click on OK, OK? Now this is where you are going to now set the port is in the environment. So in the VM, you are going to say minus the server.port. Uh, sorry, not this. I'm going to say minus the server.port and specify the port you want to use. Let's now say we want to use 9090. And then you can actually give it a name. Maybe let's call it uh, uh, products product 2 or whatever name you want to call it. That's the name of the configuration and say apply. So I'll say, okay, now you have product 2. You have two configurations here. So if you select product 2 and then run it, it's going to run using this configuration that you actually selected. So let's allow it to start up. And then we are going to go on. Uh, we are going to see how it updates the Eureka console to be able to uh, add a second instance to this place. Okay. So if I look at the console window, you can see that Tomcat initialized with port 9090, but it also has to register with Eureka. So let's just wait for a second. So it updates. So if we go back to the Eureka uh, console at this point, if I refresh the page, you can see that we have one more instance of product web running. So this is how to add uh, multiple instances of the same application to run on your application. On your uh, on your architecture. So I'm going to be stopping here. If you want to learn more about microservices, please subscribe to my channel. Hit on the subscribe button below. If you have any challenges, please let me know. I'll try as much as I can to attend to whatever challenge you have. And we see in the next part.